Now I'm on the curriculum readings. I'm actually addressing two LOSs together, which is to calculate and interpret the weighted average cost of capital of a company and to describe how taxes affect the cost of capital from different capital sources. Okay, what we're getting to here is we're gonna focus on the components, the key components of the weighted average cost of capital. If you take a look at your screen right now, you'll see that I've actually shown you the formula for the weighted average cost of capital. Now again, my notation might be a little bit different from what you see in the prep provider or in the uh, CFA books, and that's fine, but it's still, you know, you, they'll, somebody calls it six, another person calls it half a dozen, it's still the same thing, it's still six. So the weighted average cost of capital, you can see the formula is the weight of the debt times the pre-tax cost of the debt times one minus T. So when we take the pre-tax cost of debt and we multiply by one minus T, that gives us the after-tax cost of debt times the weight of the debt. And then we're gonna add to that the weight of the preferred shares, if the company has preferred shares, times the cost of the preferred shares, plus the weight of the common shares, and the common shares are the common shares outstanding, meaning like the weight of the retained earnings times the cost of those retained earnings, the cost of the existing shares, okay? That's not new shares because new shares, as we'll see in a few moments, has flotation costs. That is the formula for the weighted average cost of capital. For the weights, always use, always use market values. Never, ever, ever use book values. And sometimes on the exam, to trick you, they'll show you the market values of the debt, the market value, and then ask you to calculate the weighted average cost of capital. They'll give you the book values. Always use the market values to come up with the weights. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to talk about each of these components. So again, um, what we need to first understand 